Hi there everybody, my name is Megha and my website is www.thebalancemantra.com I'm a health and nutrition coach and an energy medicine practitioner and I'm so glad that you connected with me today. Um, I really wanted to talk about something that I noticed a lot of people are struggling with um, and this is what I call um, analysis paralysis when it comes to your nutrition or some of your other health and well-being choices so it's like you know you're this person who goes on to mind body green or elephant journal or other kinds of you know women's health magazines or you know stuff that you read on a regular basis maybe you've read some books by a nutritionist and that's all amazing it's good to feed your brain with some information when it comes to your health but I want to ask you do you get to a stage sometimes where you're like oh my god I don't know what to do because I've read so much about this particular thing maybe let's say avocados I've read that they're amazing and I should start eating them but you know what when I eat avocados I kind of feel a little bit weird but I've read so much information about it let me just go and start eating this avocado uh, you know information comes from so many different types of sources there's this friend of mine who the other day told me that someone told her avocado is full of carbs and it's not good for you so don't have it ever since then she stopped eating avocados and I think it was a really long time since you know she had tried any so I'm here to tell you that nutrition or health is a complex subject if it comes to information research discussions things that people have as opinions about what you should do for your nutrition or health there are so many it's just endless so where are you going to stop where are you going to put the full stop and say you know it's 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 good that i have all this information at hand but i need to stop and i need to figure out what works well for me so when you do decide to take that break and i hope you do that soon because it's okay to read that once in a while but you can't let that be your main source of making decisions for your health if you change that perspective and actually make your own intuition your own body's intelligence the main source of making decisions for your health you're gonna be in a great place you're gonna feel a lot more joy you're gonna feel much less worried you're gonna be so much more natural when it comes to making choices for yourself and you're not gonna be having a lot of fear because fear doesn't help your decisions and information a lot of times feeds into your fears so that's not what you need right so here's a few tips that I wanted to share with you about what you can do to actually stop you know um, the confusion that arises from all these multiple sources of information and actually start to listen to your body instead so one way of doing that is actually maintaining a food journal so if you don't already have one I always recommend that you actually have a notebook where you start to write down what you've been eating uh, including supplements or new things and juices and anything and everything that you're eating and if, if you can't do it one day don't beat yourself up about it just go ahead and do it the next day but over a period of time when you start to maintain this food journal you're gonna notice there's amazing stuff that will happen you will start to understand what your body is telling you you will start to understand how it behaves with different types of foods what happened when you ate that particular pasta what happened when you actually um, for the day ended up being gluten-free what happened so these are things that are nuggets of wisdom that are amazing it's only unique to you and it reminds you that you are actually the expert so one way of doing is doing it is food journaling and the second the second tip 
is about eating mindfully. So when you pay attention to how you feel with every single bite that you chew and you digest, you will notice subtle things about your body. Even if you don't feel it right away, you're more likely to understand how that particular food affected you in the next half an hour or one hour. Maybe it helped you have better moods. Maybe it helped you have more energy. Maybe it actually ended up making you feel so drowsy that you had to go and take a nap. Whatever it is that you end up feeling with different types of foods, mindfulness will help you to understand that. Now, how do you get mindful? Um, really, it's only about paying attention with all your senses. So when you're eating, you feel the texture of the food, you feel the taste of the food, you feel, um, you, you actually inhale the aroma of the food. So all these different things that you end up noticing about your food will help you to stay mindful when you're eating it. And it's okay if you're having a conversation, maybe just keep like 10 to 20% of your attention inside. That's all that is needed. When you stay mindful, the other amazing thing that happens is that you know, oh my God, I'm 80% full right now is the time to stop eating. So you will never end up overeating if you develop this practice. So again, I just want to remind you, you don't have to be confused with all the overload of information that's coming your way.